Now let's go ahead and look at the word Muslim. For this definition, I'd like to refer to the Quran because I just feel that God's translation of what the word Muslim means is much more superior than any human can really come up with. A Muslim is one who completely surrenders to the will of Allah, God. We believe in his oneness with no intercessors or sons. I'd like to refer to a surah, a chapter within the Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kul hu wa lahu ahad. Allah hu samad. Lam yawlid wa lam yulid wa lam yakun lahu kafwan ahad. Now this directly translates to say, He is Allah, the one and only. Allah, the eternal, the absolute. He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. And there is none like unto him. Today, a Muslim is someone who follows Islam, which was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, by the will of Allah. But if we study religious history, we come to find out that Abraham preached the oneness of God, that Moses did the same and even established it in the Ten Commandments. Commandment number one, worship one God, only God. From my biblical research, my biblical study, I've also come to believe that Jesus did the same. Jesus prayed to God on his face, asking him for forgiveness. He also preached that others pray to God and not him. So if a Muslim is considered one who surrenders their self to the will of Allah and preaches the oneness of God, of Allah, then wouldn't that make all of our past messengers, all of our pr past prophets, technically, in the Arabic terms, a Muslim, someone who surrenders and submits their will to Allah, somebody who is a slave to God and preaches the oneness of God. Allah even refers to all of the messengers and prophets in the Quran many times as Muslims because of their preaching of one God and submitting to him. Now, of course, with that said, anyone can call themselves a Muslim, but one who is truly a Muslim must follow the Quran as closely as they can end their life with also considering the life of our Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, may peace and blessings be upon him, was an amazing example of a righteous man. He was an amazing example not only as a religious man, a prophet, a messenger, but as a friend, as a father, as a husband. Muslims must also say their declaration of faith, which is their shahada, and abide by the five pillars of Islam, the first one being their shahada, their second being establishing their five prayers a day. As Muslims, we must also give charity to the poor, to orphans, to the homeless, to our family members who are in need. We're also supposed to make a pilgrimage to Mecca, if we can, if possible, at least once in our lifetime. We also must fast in the month of Ramadan and whenever we can. It was said that the Prophet وسلم, fast continuously throughout the year. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings be upon you.